She just was such a loving person. I don't know why this would happen to her. And whoever did it, they should be ashamed to take an innocent 21-year-old life like that. Like, you had no remorse. Twenty-one-year-old Demaya Green was an ambitious, hardworking, and talented young woman with a beautiful and vibrant soul to match. Those close to her described her energy as infectious, truly one of a kind. She held a promising future in the cosmetology industry, mm. transcending from the role of a hairstylist to an entrepreneur, mm. opening up her own hair salon in February of this year at the young age of 21. Demaya had an extremely close relationship with her mother, whom she absolutely adored. Sadly, her father was serving time in jail. But one thing about Demaya, no matter the circumstances in her life, she will always smile through it, pouring her focus into her passion for beauty and mission to spread joy within her community. Transforming the appearance of others and uplifting their spirits meant everything to her. And being able to do this full time and at her own pace was a dream come true. Things were really looking up for Demaya. All of her hard work was finally paying off. No one could have ever imagined that a sinister chain of events would snatch all of her hopes and dreams away in the blink of an eye. Just after 11.30 p.m. on March 12th, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office responded to a parking lot on Jacksonville's west side for reports of a fight involving several individuals. Upon arrival, they would find a chaotic scene with multiple people injured and one unresponsive female. News, a deadly triple shooting chaos erupts near Murray Hill. We are taking you where it happened for the very latest. Police are right now interviewing four people, working to learn more about what exactly happened. They're still here investigating. Take a look. This section of Plymouth Street is blocked off with crime scene tape. And just down the street there is where that investigation is currently happening. Now, police say there were at least five people gathering in a parking lot at a convenience store on Plymouth Street and LaBelle Street when a fight broke out and then shots were fired. Now, JSO says this all happened around 1140 last night. The victim was identified as 21-year-old Demaya Green, who was rushed to a local hospital where she was sadly succumbed to her injuries. The other two victims, a male and female, transported themselves to the hospital and were listed in stable condition. A look into the case revealed that the victims were shot when a fight broke out in the parking lot. Police said at least five people were involved, but there could have been more. Video of the altercation leading up to the shooting can be found here. A text conversation between Demaya and a female by the name of Lala, who allegedly used to be like a sister to her, provides a bit of clarification on the events leading up to the confrontation. The text convo read the following. What's up? I ain't gonna lie. I want to fight. LOL. Can we link? I'm not worried about you at all. I ain't beefing with you. I don't care about you. But if you want to fight, I got somebody for you right now. You recorded and kicked me though, like it was beef when it never was. I want to fight you, Maya, and nobody else. You was trying to bully me, but I don't care about that. I don't want to fight. Just let me know what you want me to tell my people. I ain't going to fight you. I'm going to let you know right now. Bully you? When did I bully you? I never bullied you, but okay. You tried, but thanks. I'm not going to argue. Honestly, go ahead and block me again. I never tried to bully you. I used to be the one slapping hoes for you. You tried to pull a stunt on me and then never wanted to handle it. I thought I taught you better than that. Maya then says, you literally posting me every day and some more stuff. La la, please stop. You can't little girl me. You ain't teach me nothing. I'm grown. I don't fight. It's no reason to. And like I said, you been knew I didn't fight. I always handle what I got to. This is childish. Have a nice day. Whatever you gonna do, do it because you're aggravating. Let it go. Posted you. I posted you when you were sitting there talking down on me to a dude, but supposed to be my sister. That's lame. 
I'm not letting nothing go. You kick me because a hoe said kick me. A Facebook post stated the following. Eventually, everyone agrees and proceeded to link up. Unfortunately, when Lala arrived, she had multiple guys in the car, including her boyfriend, who both brandished weapons. The boyfriend, Fredo Rockout, familiar ski mask, weapon, and voice help others confirm his identity. Although one group had weapons, people aren't specifically sure who actually fired the fatal bullet that claimed Amaya's life, the boyfriend or Lala. He was also accompanied by other guys during the entire incident, injuring multiple people and snatching Demaya's life away from her. And for what? Ego? A one-sided beef between two females? She was just so loving. And she loved on everybody. And that smile, I always remember that smile that she had. <laughs> That's how family and friends of Demaya Green remembers her as a person. She was a beautician who had just opened a hair salon in February. She um, did all sorts of hairstyles and just made people look amazing. That all came to an end Tuesday. The shooting happened in this parking lot where JSO says an altercation transpired and guns were fired. Several cars and buildings were hit. Green and two others were shot. They survived. Where were you when you got that call? So it was around 2.30 a.m. And my mother, she called me and told me that I needed to hurry up and make it to Valencia Way. And it's 2.30 in the morning. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what is happening? Like, I was in shock. I, it, I didn't even know how to move. Feeling so many emotions, Wolf drives to the scene. Once I got here, I saw red tape and police is everywhere. And my main concern was, Where's Maya? Where's Maya? And um, one of the detectives was like, she's at Orange Park. And so now trying to reach out, like, how can I get to Orange Park really quick? But it was no need to go to Orange Park. Green died from her injuries. We are really still trying to process it. Like, I know that, yes, Maya is currently deceased, but it's, we're, we're like in pain. We're trying to figure out why. Why would someone do that to her? It's just painful and hurtful. A celebration of life ceremony was held for 21-year-old Demaya Green on March 24th at Our Daily Bread Church in Valdosta, Georgia. As of right now, four people have been detained for questioning as family and friends wait to find out who will ultimately be held responsible for Demaya's murder. The case remains ongoing.